Good morning, everyone. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Hello, Kristen. Hey, welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. Today I went a little disco look. You did? Yeah. You had the Victoria's Secret out. Yeah, you know what? I was inspired by the Dancing with the Stars, uh, you know, season opener last night. I was a little out of control. I'm really, this, this whole reality thing is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's how do you control yourself with X Factor, so you think you can dance, The Voice, uh, so much dancing happening. with the star, I mean, and then there's Glee, and then all these, I mean, it's like a musical heaven for someone like me. Mm -hmm. It's out of control. It is out of control. <laughs> and I bet you are just, you're probably just overwhelmed. I am so overwhelmed, Kristen, <laughs> but I, I already have my favorite. He's always been my favorite. It was, yes. is Gilles Marini. I love that man. You may remember him from Sex and the City, too. And then he was also, because it's an all-star cast, he was okay. already in one of the seasons with Cheryl Burke as the runner-up. Well, the guy what was good. he in Sex and the City? The hot next door neighbor. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know who you are. <laughs> That's all you gotta say is the hot next door neighbor. I know That's exactly what you're, what you're exactly. talking about. Yeah, exactly. Samantha okay. had a little thing for him. Uh, yes, she did. Yes, she had a thing did. for a lot of the guys. She did have a thing for a lot of the guys. Okay, well, turning the subject, okay. it's getting a little hot in here. We are in the home stretch. This is day two of our top five Face of Fox finalist countdown. That's right. In just a few minutes, Krista Benavides will join us right here in the kitchen. I know. It's exciting. And then she'll join us later in our second half hour when she gets to do her first live interview with me and a guest. That's yes, fun. And you know, that's fun. You know, we were saying yesterday when Chloe was here, it's, you know, they don't have any idea what they're going to be doing before the day that they get here. Mm -hmm. So this is completely impromptu. This is yeah. a real test for their ability to improvise and get on script without a lot of preparation time. Right, and I mean, they get a lot thrown at them all yes. at once. So exactly. it, it, it can be tough for them, I think, but so far, so good. So, so far, so good. And we'll we give them a lot of today. credit just, you know, for getting into this position and, and getting this yeah. far so far. And so best of luck to Crystal later on. Definitely. And don't forget the new face of Fox will be revealed October 5th, live right here on New Mexico Style. Yes, now let's check in with our KRQE face, News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez with this morning's headlines. You didn't do the whole... Oh, the face of KRQE! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... I, I, Elias I, I usually brings that out in me. Okay, I'll do it. The face of Fox. There you go. <laughs> All right, the face of KRQE. Morning, there we go. Uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning to you at home. We begin this morning talking about how you will not believe what we learned one state legislator here in New Mexico is putting on his campaign expense account back massages. Yes, Representative Miguel Garcia, who represents the South Valley, says he has a very legitimate reason to expense his massages. However, a group called New Mexico Watchdog Org disagrees and says it is quite illegal. I've had four back injuries and, uh, and during the campaign season, uh, sciatic nerve kicks in, especially from door to door and getting in and out of the car. Representative Garcia used tax-free campaign funds to pay for massages, spinal adjustments, and wellness items, he calls them. The group is now also asking questions about Garcia's rail runner tickets and mileage expenses. We did call Secretary of State Diana Duran to ask about Garcia's expenses, but she never got back to us keep you posted on what happens here. The controversy is over regarding Albuquerque's, Albuquerque's Petroglyph National Monument. That's because the National Park Service is taking away the Buddhist shrine that was there. Now, the man who used to own the land before the government bought it had what's known as the stupa there. Recently, a group of federal workers thought it violated the separation of church and state, and the U.S. Solicitor General agrees. Because the monument was established to protect and preserve the petroglyphs, uh, mainly carved by the Pueblo people, um, there's no authority for the federal government to keep this stupa here. So now the federal government is paying to remove the stupa. A group of donors are paying to actually have it moved to a private property in Tijeras. The state fair may be over, but it has left a bad taste in one salsa maker's mouth. Matt Erdman, seen here, entered the salsa competition at the state fair, but is now crying foul. Now, he says that the judges didn't even taste the blonde salsa that he's worked so hard for so many years to perfect. Erdman says he had to go out of town when the judging actually took place, but says he left his salsa in a jar, just like the rest of the other salsa entries. Now, this salsa maker claims that his jar was the only jar that was never open. Now, there was no money at stake here, but Erdman says, hey, this is about principle. 
Just uh, a little pride, uh, you know, hey, we won the blue ribbon at the state fair. That's all it was. And News 13 tried getting in touch with Expo New Mexico to find out what happened, but the office had already closed for the day. The rules online, by the way, clearly state that everything would be tested. If you bought Trader Joe's peanut butter recently, listen up. The grocery store chain is recalling jars of a specific variety that is made right here in New Mexico because of a possible salmonella outbreak. Trader Joe's creamy salted Valencia peanut butter as well as almond butter are being recalled. The products are made in Potalis at Sunland Incorporated. The FDA says 29 people have gotten sick in at least 18 states. The product code you need to know is 97111. You can also find a full list of recalled peanut butters under uh, the news blog section at our web website. Just head to krqe.com. And there's also another recall to tell you about involving salmonella. This one involving tainted dog treats. Boots and Barkley is recalling its six count packages of American beef bully sticks. They were sold at Target stores nationwide from April through this month. Now, if you bought this product, you can take it back to any Target for a full refund. And lastly, heads up, you may hear an explosion near Kirtland Air Force Base today, but no need to worry because the Sandia National Laboratories is conducting a test south of the base. They tell us you may hear a small explosion and even see some black smoke. The test oh, started around 7 this morning and could go until 5 this afternoon. That wraps it up for your morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself on KRQE News 13 every weekday morning beginning at 4.30 a.m. Ladies, going to send it back to you. You're welcome. Really? Is that why you're keeping me on camera a little bit longer? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> Apparently the director heard. <laughs> you're doing a Love you, Jeff. Love you. Well, you look like you're like part of like, it's almost like they painted the I backdrop blend. for you. You I blend. blend. Yeah, Vinny, you blend. Yeah, you yeah. do. But you're Elizabeth, right, not Vinny. It's soothing. It is soothing. It is soothing. As Elizabeth is. Yeah. She's very soothing. And so <laughs> is top five face of final face of finalist, face of Fox finalist, Krista Benavides, who joins us in the kitchen. Hey, good morning and good welcome. Morning. Good morning. Thank you. Should I say Benvenido a Benavides? Thank you. That's very good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. See. I, I listen to my ustedes. Will, Will Will Smith really taught me well in that Welcome to Miami song, so that's how I knew nice. the, the connection, but not to be confused with your name. Right. right. But your Bien name, what is your name? Benavides. It actually means good life. Good life. I like yes. it. That's good. So a lot of pressure. Right? <laughs> well, can can be bad <laughs> days or anything like that. So. Well, I was going to say, speaking of good life, tell us about yours. Tell us about yourself. Well, I'm um, a native New Mexican. I'm originally from Pecos, New Mexico. and. I live here in Albuquerque now with my two-year-old daughter and my husband, Chris. Two-year-old. Yes. Terrible twos or how, oh, how she's she doing? Fantastic. She's fantastic. She's in, been independent since the, since the day she was born, so I don't know if that's good or bad. That's probably a good thing. Yeah. She'll take after your independent spirit, too. Probably. Yeah, probably. go after. Hey, look, you're a perfect example of somebody that goes after what they want. And that's, that's a great true. example for and your daughter. That's true, and she's doing it already, so it must have been passed on in the genes or What's something. her name? Esperanza Monet. Well, oh, hello to one. that beautiful, that yeah. little beautiful one. It's nice Hi, to have Esperanza. you here. So Thank we're going to just talk about some hot topics and just jump in with us and, and let's get right to it. Great. Let's talk about one of our favorite hot topics. Of course, we love to talk about TMZ. They are reporting that an investigation has been launched into the shocking death of a crew member on the set of The Lone Ranger. This is really terrible. Mm -hmm. And a federal agency is vowing to leave no stone unturned until it discovers the truth. That's right. Crew member Mike Bridger, who is a water safety expert, died on the L.A. movie set Friday. Day while working inside a large water tank, Gosh. and apparently he suffered a heart attack. That's scary, huh? Yeah. Well, wow. I mean, have you ever worked on a movie set before? Um, limited. Yeah, I did an independent film several years ago, mm -hmm. and it was pretty small scale. But yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cords and things that can happen. People just, if you're not safe, but you know, you never know. Yeah, these things can mm -hmm. happen. It's scary. It's really scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who knew? Well, you know, um, OSHA, a workplace safety enforcement agency, has actually launched, launched into an investigation to see if there was any negligence or any wrongdoing taking place. So they're looking into it. Yeah. They're well, and OSHA it. would be the, the people. I guess you'd have to make sure that with something like that, I mean, you can never be too safe and yeah. too careful. So even Sorry. if you are working with Johnny Depp, you got to make sure that things are on the up and up. That's exactly. True. Well, the Lone Ranger, yeah. of course, stars Army Hammer and... Uh, Johnny Depp as Tonto and the cast and crew were filming on location of course in New Mexico we all know that for yeah. several months but this happened actually out in LA. Yeah right. I'm actually glad to hear it didn't happen while they were filming here 
Mm. Yeah, that'd be bad press thing. for New Mexico, which we don't want, right? We don't want that. We had really, really good reaction from it, actually. Now, let's turn to another set that we know uh, always has really good things going on here in New Mexico, the television drama Breaking Bad. The set is, of course, produced and it is set right here in Albuquerque. It mm -hmm. has inspired a number of entrepreneurs from trolley tours to crystal meth candy <laughs> to Pez dispensers, really. That's right, you know? yeah. And last week, the Breaking Bad art show opened in Melrose, California, mm -hmm. revealing artworks related to the greatest show on TV. Yeah, take, a, take look. a look. You want to cook crystal meth? You know the business, and I know the chemistry. This was a show that a lot of people didn't think would come back. Uh, and now to see it sort of uh, the top of, of the cool shows to be watching is, is amazing. Perfect timing. Just about to get started. We, we wanted to honor that and, and thank the fans for what they've done for this show. We debuted over 20 new original pieces, all inspired by Breaking Bad. And each is done by a different top designer or artist from around the world. These are just artists that are fans. I used ink. I put down a wash of ink and then another layer of ink right on top of it. Well, it's obviously inspired by Breaking Bad, and uh, I love Walt's character so much. So I just decided to do a portrait of him. Dudes and guns. <laughs> It's great to see how many different things people have done to contribute a piece for this show. This is my piece. It's, it's called Walt and the Bad Breakers. I, I like taking the idea of something that's not for children and kind of switching it around and making it kind of kid-friendly. When I heard this show was happening, I thought that I need to turn Breaking Bad into a retro children's album. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, hold up! Get in my way, kid! I've been watching it from the beginning, and it's, it's awesome. The characters are just so well defined and they all have their unique personalities and they're, they're so well um, created by the actors and by the writers. Did you actually just use the word ethically in a sentence? You're a two-bit bus bench lawyer. So this one, I wanted a, a blue record to represent the blue crystal meth that they, uh, they sell. This is, a, this is a one of a kind. Can I, say, can I say who bought it? The creator of Breaking Bad bought this piece, Vince Gilligan. And uh, I've been a fan of his for years. Secrets create barriers between people. Speaking from experience, believe me. This is, the, in my opinion, the only show on TV that, that is a piece of art itself. When you watch it, each small detail is there for a reason. And that's very rare in TV. And that, has, that inspires creativity. It's easy to take something so artistic and create something artistic based on it. And, and that's sort of the results that you see. Amazing. Yes. I want to know, did he just use Breaking Bad and children in the same <laughs> sentence? In the same thing. I thought, yeah, my daughter's not going to see that no. until she's 20. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Very good idea, Krista. Yeah. Actually, I, you know, I, I am so happy that Aaron Paul won his second Emmy this I week. Know. I think that it's just, and looking at him, I'm just so excited and so happy that we, we got to, I, I kind of touched on it yesterday, but we got to meet him when we first moved here. It was one of the one of the first people we met celebrity-wise, right? And he mm -hmm. was really cool. Really he cool guy. He was a cool guy, yeah. And it was really neat to really see cool. mm -hmm. him out there during yeah. the Emmys accepting his award, his second one. And of course, you know, he and Brian Cranston, they battle it out from time to yeah. time. But yeah. this time, he's you got some bragging rights. on Brian, so yeah. surprisingly, that was a big upset. Well, thank goodness they're coming back for more. Yes. So we still so have, have part two season. of the final yeah. season. Now, um, I, how, how have you been feeling about the weather lately? Don't you feel like it's been too hot? Aren't you ready for the it's cool down? It's been too hot and cold, and I'm, I don't know about you, but allergies have been an issue, oh, so yeah. it's like they start to yes. come in and then they go away. It's like a tease and then not really. Exactly. Oh, I know. So, I've been thinking the same thing. Allergies are a nightmare right now. You know, they always flare up in the spring and then you get another little dose of it in the uh -huh. fall before uh, things that killing frost moves in, which will be around the corner pretty soon, usually yeah. right around Halloween time for us here yeah. in Albuquerque. But, is the uh, cool down on though for this it week? It is going to be gonna a little better? bit cooler this week. We cool. are gonna, And we're going to be Good. looking at better chances for a little rain too. A little cloudy out there right now. 54 degrees, so a cool start this morning.